With most gyms still being closed, I figured I can show you guys the equipment I purchased uh, from a used commercial gym retailer to do what I envision as a complete full gym workout on somewhat of a budget, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars. So, you know, by all means, if you are on a stricter budget, you can spend less money. You know, you can make your own concrete weights. You could do this. You can do that, and only spend five, six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, but to me, this was the solution. Granted, gyms are closing, and some of you might be familiar. We did the video a month and a half back on how I was very unhappy uh, with the quality of equipment that I purchased uh, from Fitness Equipment Empire. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't been able to find any replacement gym equipment, so I am still stuck with that. And I don't really know if I'm just going to get rid of this equipment and stop the bodybuilding stuff, or if I'm going to be able to find replacement equipment anytime soon. Uh, so I figured I might as well just show you guys what I have, what I'm using it for, so you guys have a brief understanding of what my workouts are looking like right now. At face value, it looks pretty minimal. You know, there's basically three sections. Here we have the power rack with the barbell, uh, the adjustable incline bench. Uh, we have the Olympic plates over here and some dumbbells over there. The dumbbell set is 5 to 50 pounds. Uh, some more of the dumbbell set over here. Lat pull-down machine with two grips. We have the straight bar and the lateral grip bar. And then we have the functional trainer with you know cables. We have the ropes. We have this. Just a bunch of different attachments. And this is literally all I have. I mean, this cost me about $6,000 and then another thousand to have it shipped. Um, you know, we, we can talk about that again another time. And guys, keep in mind, I do not work out my upper legs. I do some glute stuff and quite a variety of, of glute stuff, but if I was working out my quads and hamstrings, I would definitely get like a quad extension machine, perhaps a hamstring curl, uh, maybe even like a reverse hyper extension, uh, just to get a bit more variety in here and there. Uh, so this is pretty much complete, but again, if you wanna work out your upper legs, doing more than squats. I mean, look, you could do upper legs completely with this set of equipment. It would be nicer to have some leg specific machines though. So I'm literally just gonna tell you guys every single exercise I do on each machine. And the vast majority of my workout is done on the lat pull down and on the functional trainer because you know back and chest are the two biggest upper body muscles. So I spend a lot of time focusing on rows for back and I spend a lot of time focusing on cable flies for chest. I'm dead serious. You know, I spend two to three out of six exercises for back on the lat pull down. And I spend two to three out of four exercises on the functional trainer for chest. So, you know, 70, 80% of my chest workout and at least 50% of my back workout are done on these two machines. The rest of my back workout will actually be done on the functional trainer. So I'll do three exercises on the lat pull down, then I'll do one or two exercises on the functional trainer, you know, with some single cable grip, some rope grip maybe. Perhaps I'll do a dumbbell row for back, but that's really it. Literally the majority of my chest and back workout on these two. Maybe once every few days I'll do, you know, some chest flies with dumbbells or some chest press with dumbbells, but the chest and back that you guys have seen me develop has been on a lat pull down machine and a functional trainer. That's my training style. That's what I like doing. I can't wait to show you guys it. Uh, this does have a pull-up bar and maybe one or two days a week I will incorporate some pull-ups into my back routine. But you know, by no means is it a huge part of my back routine. So Frank, you're telling me you bought an Olympic weight set, this barbell, all these dumbbells, and you're not doing deadlifts, flat bench press? No, I have not. I have not utilized these exercises or really this rack that much and I honestly you know, should probably say I don't need it. So after I bang out back and chest, which probably takes 80% of the time of my workout, I'll move on to shoulders. And for shoulders, I'll either do a dumbbell seated press or a barbell seated press. That's gonna be one exercise. And then I'll just take some, you know, two and a half pound plates or some five pound dumbbells and I'll do a variety of raises. I'll do lateral raises, I'll do rear raises, I'll do some you know, upright rows and that'll be a nice quick shoulder workout. And after shoulders, I'll move back to the functional trainer. We'll do some tricep extensions for triceps and some lighter dumbbell curls for biceps. And that's really it. You know, quick, easy. I wouldn't say minimal equipment workout because you know, 
these functional trainers are pretty expensive. This lat pull down is pretty expensive, but it's definitely unorthodox compared to what a lot of people do. And could I get away with using less equipment? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I really need this rack. I don't think I need this bench. Uh, I could definitely be utilizing some more weights of the dumbbells more. I haven't even touched those. I've really just used, you know, 10, 15, 25, 50. You know, and if you're really on a strict budget, hey, just get some 15 pound dumbbells, some 30 pound dumbbells. You can get a great workout. You don't need all the increments. Now, is this equipment as good as a gym? Am I getting as good of a workout as I would in a gym? I don't think I can safely say that. I would say this is probably 90 to 95% of the way there. Obviously, if I had hammer strength machines, more space, more variety of equipment, I'd probably end up going a little bit heavier, doing slightly more volume, having different exercises thrown in here and there. But just with this base of the functional trainer, the lat pull down, you know, the barbell, some dumbbells, I'm able to get in enough variety, enough exercises to have a full consistent routine where I can get a high level of hypertrophy. If you didn't have dumbbells or if you just had dumbbells, if you didn't have the cable machines or if you just had the cable machines, you would have a much more difficult time because one day you'll go to do dumbbell flies and they'll feel great. They're really ripping your chest apart. They're taking you to failure. The next day you go to do dumbbell flies, hey, you're not really feeling it at all. Same with the cable stuff. You know, one day a lat pull down might feel great and it's really tearing your back up, but the next day lat pull down doesn't feel as good. So you have to have enough exercises that hit enough spots to add variety. You know, the hammer strength machines like the, the stationary stuff at the gym, like a rowing machine, sometimes that feels good, but most of the time it doesn't. So, you know, why am I going to spend a few thousand dollars on one machine that I might use once every two weeks or maybe two times every two weeks? Yes, every piece of equipment in the gym for the most part has its purpose. Maybe once a month it'll feel really, really good and take your muscle to failure. And that's where it's nice to have the variety of equipment. But, you know, since we're at a home gym, uh, there's a lot of stuff we can do with just this equipment. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And I know it does sound kind of crazy that I do, you know, most of my back workout on a lat pull down and a functional trainer, pretty much all of my chest workout on this. You know, I literally will do three different varieties of cable flies in different positions just for my chest workout. You know, for shoulders, all you need is two and a half pound plates, five pound dumbbells. If you really know what you're doing, you can really take the muscle to failure. And same thing with arms, just some tricep push downs and uh, some dumbbell curls. If you're consistent with enough weight, enough volume, and really focusing on that mind muscle connection, you don't need a crazy amount of equipment to get a good workout in. Almost forgot to mention what I've been doing for glutes and calves. Uh, so for glutes, I will do some like cable twists on the functional trainer. That's been a big part of the routine. Uh, I'll sit down, I'll put some plates on my hips. I'll do some hip thrusts. Uh, sometimes I'll just do some like standing, um, like glute raises, like just moving my leg up like that. And I'll throw those glute exercises in between my back exercises. And then when I go to do chest, I'll just do standing calf raises. You know, you can build really big muscular calves by just literally standing and doing calf raises. If the volume is correct, if the repetition tempo is correct, if you're really working the muscle hard enough. So by doing glutes between my back exercises and calves between my chest exercises, I'm able to work out essentially everything besides quads and hamstrings, which I don't like the aesthetic of. I don't really want them to be bigger. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. I think price range of functional trainer, anywhere between 1500 and 2500 used is gonna be reasonable. Uh, lat pull down, you wanna look around $1,000. Uh, the Olympic squat rack is probably going to be around eight or nine hundred, and a dumbbell set can vary greatly depending on the quality of the dumbbells. You know, this was I think five or six hundred, but there's some really nice dumbbell sets that can cost a few thousand dollars. Uh, the adjustable bench might be upwards of four, five, six, seven hundred. So each one of these pieces of equipment individually is fairly expensive, but it is commercial quality and you don't really have to buy a crazy amount of stuff. Uh, again, if I had more space, I would probably buy one or two more things that I would utilize frequently, uh, like a hyperextension machine 
and maybe even like a seated type of cable row machine. But uh, thanks again for joining me today, guys. Uh, I'll see you for tomorrow. We're going to do a 4th of July grilling live stream on the main channel here. And uh, Sunday we'll do something exciting as well.